So before we go into actually inputting some data here, I do want to review some of the settings. So to access the settings in Excel, we can either choose Excel and then hit preferences, or you can see here that it gives us a shortcut uh, indication saying that if we hit command comma together, then that will also bring up the preferences without having to use our mouse, go all the way up to the corner and select it. We can simply hit command comma together and it'll bring up Excel preferences. Okay, so a few different things I would often recommend uh, for your settings in Excel is, uh, first of all, going to the general uh, selection here. So most of the time, the start screen that we looked at when starting is an unnecessary step to get to the Excel screen. It just takes a little bit longer to open Excel if you have this checked on. So I like to disable it. So to disable the start screen, in, uh, in the general tab, which we're in right now, just unselect show workbook gallery when opening Excel. Here, you can also uh, change the default number of sheets in a workbook, and you can default the font and the font size to fit your settings. I like keeping my default font to either Calibri or Arial, but that's definitely just up to you as a personal preference. I usually like size 10, but again, that's just a personal preference. We'll leave that as is for now. Now let's check on the calculation tab. This is where I highly suggest checking off automatic except for data tables. If you only had automatic checked off, Excel would update data tables every time you calculate any formula. This often slows down your file quite a bit, so it's helpful to be automatic except for data tables. Now, what's the difference between automatic and manual? Let me show you. If we have manual, and I X out of this, and I put in five and two, and I wanna take a sum, I'm gonna hit equals five plus two, right? Seven, as we would expect. But when I change this to 10 instead of two, I expect this to turn to 15 but it doesn't. And that's because we're in manual calculation mode. If I hit F9, then it does update, but I have to hit F9 every time I want the sheet to update. So let's go back to calculation, change that back to automatic except for data tables. We can X out now. And when I change this to a two, it will automatically update to show me a seven. Also on the calculation tab, um, this is where you will see the iterative calculation setting. So if you are dealing with a financial model that has circularity, which is often found when you're working with interest expense or interest income, then you'll want to make sure that this is checked on. I typically recommend keeping it on, um, and this tells Excel to calculate when it finds circularity. But if you're not using interest income or intentional circularity, you don't have to worry about this. Going over to the edit tab, uh, this allows you to change the way that you edit data. If you want to move the selection down after you press return, you can indicate that here. So if I uncheck that, for example, and I have five and I press enter, See how the green border doesn't move down? I have to type the down key in order to move down. I personally don't like that. So I personally like to have this checked on where after I press return, I move the selection down. Then when I'm entering five and I press enter, it automatically moves me to the cell down. That's totally a personal preference. Also under edit, I like to take the provide feedback with animation um, off, and that's because uh, it often makes the file a little bit slower if you have this checked on. So I just like making Excel as fast as possible. Lastly, uh, a note on the settings in Excel. Some of you may have already experienced this if you're trying the F9. Um, but I want to give a note on the FN toolbar. So some of you might be on the new Mac uh, where you have the touch bar, or you might um, have a Mac keyboard. Uh, but regardless, 
Mac is by default going to use the top row of your keys on the Apple keyboard to control the brightness settings, the volume settings, the play, pause, um, and various other controls that are particular to your Mac. So for example, pressing the key with the speaker icon adjusts the volume. But in Excel, we're often going to want to just directly access F2, F4, F9, and the like. And so if you want to change the top row of the keys to work as standard function keys without holding the FN key, then I'll show you the steps to uh, follow for that. If you don't want to adjust those settings, then anytime I say F2 or F4, you'll have to just remember to hit FN and F2 at the same time. So that is basically saying, Excel, don't adjust the brightness. Instead, use F2 as an F2 uh, button. So to do that, um, to make that change, we'll go to System Preferences for your Mac. And I like to just either click on keyboard or you can search for it up here in um, the search bar. And then over here where you see use F1, F2, etc., keys as standard function keys, check that to be on and then it will automatically allow you to use F2 as F2. And in that case, then you'll have to hit FN when you want to change the brightness, for example.